Their day ends as it began, safe and at home in the mountains. 5,000 miles away, over the Indian Ocean, life for another primate is just as perilous. 75% of the total mangrove forests in Southeast Asia exist in Indonesia. It may look like the soft life, but here, the adaptations are still extreme. These macaques are great swimmers, and without this skill, they wouldn't last long here. These primates are known for being adaptable, but this is evolution at work, right before our eyes. Less than five years ago, scientists observed a behavior never before seen. Macaques swimming for their supper. When food is scarce and the trees above, the macaques have a choice, starve or find food underwater. The ability to swim underwater is extremely rare among primates, unique only to macaques and humans. They can stay below for a surprisingly long time, a strange adaptation, but a critical one. There's competition for food above, but underwater, the macaques can get more fallen fruit for themselves. There are hungry predators in the water too, but the macaques are willing to take the risk for a ready meal. In the underground world of caves, dining is more limited. Here in the abyss, one creature excels at the waiting game. Inside this subterranean cavern is a world of sinister beauty, but don't get too close. This galaxy of little lights is actually a death trap. Any animal that lives deep within a cave has to cope with total darkness. And some have turned that challenge into a deadly art form. A silken strand is lowered from the ceiling alongside hundreds of others. They're beautiful, but looks can kill. In the farthest reaches of the abyss, nothing is what it seems. A glowing string of pearls hides a death trap. This is a cave glowworm. To trap its prey, it goes fishing with a line of silk. The silk comes from glands in the worm's mouth and is loaded with droplets of mucus. Each glowworm produces dozens of these threads. Once its lines are set, the glowworm hangs from a mucus hammock and waits like a patient angler. But the glowworm doesn't leave everything to chance. That ghostly blue light comes from a chemical reaction taking place in a special capsule in its tail. Light is a lure to attract prey. You'd think they'd have learned by now, but insects are irresistibly drawn to the deadly light. There's no escape. The glowworm reels in his catch and eats it alive. Cut off from the life-giving sun, 
caves don't offer much to eat, so the glowworm's solution is a brilliant one. By snaring the insects that hatch here, they've solved the biggest challenge facing permanent cave dwellers, a reliable source of food. The abyss is full of hazards, but one cave is downright toxic. Villa Luz Cave in Mexico. Its waters are white with toxic sulfuric acid and it reeks of rotten eggs. To enter this deadly cave, explorers wear respirators to filter out the poisonous gas. A stay beyond two hours could be lethal. And the only way bats survive here is by sticking close to the gaps in the ceiling. The source of the toxic fumes lies several miles below. Hydrogen sulfide gas bubbles up from oil deposits in the Earth's crust. It mixes with oxygen in the water and forms sulfuric acid as strong as the acid found in car batteries. But these cave mollies somehow manage to thrive here. How they survive in these toxic conditions may provide clues as to how life might survive on other planets. And some creatures here do seem alien like these dripping stalactites. They're living colonies of bacteria called snotties for obvious reasons. What's dripping isn't just gross, it's hazardous. Sulfuric acid so strong, a single drop on your skin would cause a second degree burn. Incredibly, these colonies of bacteria absorb the hydrogen sulfide gas and convert it into energy. It's as alien a form of life as we're ever likely to see on planet Earth. Every cave seems home to bizarre forms of life, and Deer Cave in Borneo is no exception. This is one of the largest natural rock chambers in the world so big it could fit 40 jumbo jets side by side. And it's only getting bigger. Year after year, rainwater carves into the limestone, expanding these colossal caverns. But water in caves doesn't only erode, it also builds. The water here is loaded with dissolved limestone. The moment it meets the air, a chemical reaction makes calcite. And calcite transforms the cave as if by magic. Magic and time. Lots of time. These are stalactites, suspended like icicles. They defy gravity to form works of art. Over millions of years, the calcite builds up, first forming hollow straws, then cones. If the mineral-rich water manages to hit ground again and again, a new formation grows, a stalagmite. When the two meet, a column is born. This is one of the slowest known processes on the planet. These cave formations grow only 28 inches every 408,000 years. And those in this one cavern represent millions of years worth of growth. Minute changes in the air and water determine what size and shape these formations will grow into. And the variations 